All right. Now, with everyone's eyes closed now, no one looking around, raise your hand if you made a decision today and say, this is my day. Hey, everybody. Welcome to What the Flick. I get to introduce this week. So exciting. And I'm going to sit uh, here and eat my donut. <laughs> it's Christy's birthday this week, so we're Woo-hoo! having donuts. Birthday it's awesome. Donuts. I would never eat donuts ordinarily, but they're here. So. Liar. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Alonzo Duraldi from uh, TheRap.com, and uh, this is Christy Lemire from AP and Eber Presents at the Movies. And uh, we're going to talk about Vera Farmiga's directorial debut, Higher Ground. This movie is pretty great. I'm just going to go ahead and like spoil it early and say it's pretty great. Um, Vera Farmiga stars as a woman named Corinne, and it follows her over about 20 or so years as she is struggling with her faith. As she, she thinks when she's a little girl, she might be saved. She goes in and out with her Christianity, becomes very devout, begins to question, and it's about the track of her life and her spirituality. I haven't opened a Bible since I was yes. a kid. Then I came along and corrupted you, huh? Yes. Oh, my kids in the bus! God saved us. Lord, lift me up. And in one fish, the Lord has been trying to hook for a long time. What was that? I thought it was so beautiful. It's a prayer language. It's nonsensical. It's probably voodoo. It settles things in your spirit. I want it. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come on, Lord. Come on, Holy Spirit. And Let sexual chemistry burn out. You cannot. I like to draw Ned's penis. Wow! What's good for me is seeing my girls together. Corinne will help you get back on your feet, won't you, Squirt? Get them out of my house! It's not for me! It's not for you. Peace, righteousness. I don't want your life, Corinne. God wants us to come to him with all our needs and all our desires. Sister, thank you. That's you what can sit down. Right? Thank you. What do you see when you look at me? Mother of your children, a virtuous woman, handmaiden of the Lord. We are waging a battle here for your soul. We want you in heaven. Lord, help me. I can't feel you. I feel nothing. And sings my soul. You have the look of a woman who gives all her heart. It's hard to give less, you know. Okay, so we were talking about how this is a really hard movie to convince people to see because they think it's going to be this sort of like heavy-handed Jesus-y thing, mm-hmm. and it's so not. I mean, I'm an atheist, so I, I as am I. So I can't say like, <laughs> oh no, of course there's nothing that Christians would find offensive. I, I couldn't say. You'd have to decide that for yourself. But given that this is a, a dog, a hunt that I don't have a dog in, I was really fascinated by this story and all the the, the stuff this woman goes through in her life and. Really, I think what a lot of it boils down to is we so rarely get movies that are about women's lives Mm -hmm. and their choices and not about them having to, like, save the aircraft carrier or, (laughs) you know, uh, whatever, or even, like, you know, some sort of frothy kind of sex in the city thing. But, like, just just Mm day-to-day, you know, what do I believe in? What am I willing to sacrifice, you know, to have a family, you know? Do uh, does my voice count? Mm -hmm. You know, am I being ignored by my husband and by the men in this society that I'm surrounded with? I mean, just all these little things like that. I just found it all really riveting. And uh, I mean, Vera Farmiga, terrific actress. You know, Mm -hmm. uh, LA film critics gave her best actress for a film that not a lot of people saw called Down to the Bone Mm -hmm. from the woman that later made Winner's Bone. Um, You know, and I think really proves herself to be just out of the box, a a really terrific director, very intuitive. The performances are all great from the kids to the adults. Um, And she finds this tone that's just right every time. When you are dealing with something which is so internal and so ethereal, and in this woman's case, it's it's ever-changing, you know, the state of her Christianity. To be able to depict that would be very hard, and to be able to depict it without judgment. That's what I love about this, is that a lot of films about religion are condescending, or they're mocking, or they're just flat-out parodies, like yeah, Save. exactly. And there's no judgment here. She's just a woman trying to figure out who she is and what role her faith plays in her life. Yeah, I don't feel like the film is belittling anybody for their beliefs or their lack of beliefs. Mm-hmm. Um, I, think that, I, I think that, you know, if... if, if if fundamentalist Christians have a hard time with this movie, it's because they want Kirk Cameron to show up in the final <laughs> reel and cry and like come back to Jesus. And this movie and doesn't save really... the earth from the apocalypse. Exactly. This movie does not give <laughs> you any coming. kind. Of, doesn't give you any easy answers about mm-hmm. like what she should do or where she's going to go. Is she right? Is she wrong? You know, any of that stuff. 
but I, I was completely just enwrapped in the whole thing. And there's one scene towards the end where it's the, the, the her son's birthday party and she and her husband have been living apart. And so the kids try to get them to recreate their, their like wedding photo. And so there's all that weirdness between them where, you know, like they love each other, but they can't live together. And then meanwhile, her parents who are also divorced are kind of looking at each other and there's all of their sort of shared history of, we still live each other, but we can't, mm -hmm. we can't live together. And it, it's heartbreaking. It's one right. of the, like the most gutting scenes I've seen in a movie in ages. It's, and, she, and she plays it in a very stripped down, low key way, which makes the emotion of it pop out that much more. And again, there's no judgment in either of these couples as to why their marriages fell apart. Like these sure. people just changed. Joshua Leonard plays her husband who, who remains more devout than she does as she's questioning and seeking. But there's no judgment on him for misunderstanding yeah. her. There, 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 also, really, there really aren't any villains in this movie. I mean, there are some members of, it's a very, very insular kind of fundamentalist community. True. And there there's are that some one people, lady who's always taking her aside and saying, honey, I don't mean to, but you know. Right. Yeah, but even with she's, her, she means well. Like, the film doesn't vilify her for being so devout and right, so strict. Right. Like, she's trying to help this person follow Jesus in the best the lines. way. Yeah, absolutely. So no even problem, with someone know. like that, you know, there's one thing I, she, she lapses into these little magical realities segments that I'm not sure the film needed. It's a very naturalistic, very very stripped down, realistic film. But there's like these little flights of fancy here and there of her fantasies as she's envisioning wild things happening, and I'm not sure the movie needs it. it they didn't take me out of it. Okay. You know, they, they felt Germain. I mean, mm -hmm. they fell out of a piece with everything else. So okay. anyway, it's a little movie. It's open in a few markets, and it's going to be expanding. But Look, be on the lookout for higher ground. Higher ground. Yeah. It's 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 an extraordinary movie. Uh, Whether you believe or not, yeah. whatever you believe, wherever, wherever you are in the spectrum with you of faith, you know, yeah. check it out with an open mind, uh, and I, I think you'll you'll find it really fascinating. Uh, numbers. Oh yeah, we should do numbers. Um, I'm giving it a nine. I'm gonna go 9.4. This is one of the best movies I've seen this year so yeah, far. Yeah, it's top ten list bull very easily. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a 9.2 from us. Definitely. So check it out. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Bye. Bye.